I want to talk about this woke word that I think is completely and entirely bullshit. Woke. What, is, what the fuck does that even mean? So you're saying everybody's asleep and they have to be woke up. Okay, whatever. Here's what I know. Everything is as it should be. Everything in its divine timing. I mean, if you are meant to be born with the knowing of all things, you would have popped out a genius, as some people do. But you know what I mean, not just a genius, but you wouldn't even be a human being. You're here in a human body to experience, for whatever reason. We figure it out. We do. Most of it. Um, with all the people that I have sat with while they were dying, a lot of them in silence. But some of them, they just want to say a few last words. And everything that I have ever been told by all of the people that I've ever held while they were dying said it's all about love. Not about woke. You got wings. I got wings. But we have feet. Because here, we're to walk. Walk in our truth. No matter how unwoke it looks. Oh, I hate that word. I'm getting so sick of that word. And I'm so tired of the whole pulling this in your timeline. Yeah, you did. Get over it. It was meant to be. Not meant to be. That's even stupid. Everything is as it's supposed to be. I know how ugly. And that sucks. And I know. You don't think I haven't been through some sick shit? I've never had to go through anything, right? Going through stuff wakes you up. No. Doing the work wakes you up. <laughs> well, it might help. It might help if you didn't resist or defend. Maybe so much. But maybe that you do it because that's your truth. You're good at it for a reason. No matter how unwoke it looks. Carry your truth well. And even if everybody in the world goes against your truth, don't fold. Because they don't know what you know. They don't. I don't know what you know. But I know what I know. And I, I know that I'm not always right. But that's for me to find out. Just like you. Just like you. But we should honor each other for standing in our truth. And we should not be judging. I should not be judging anybody especially myself. And all this woke stuff has caused me to do a whole lot of questioning to myself. And I'm finding it's not good for me. 
and I had a whole lot of problem with, I'm not, I'm not doing the work. I'm not this and I'm not that. And I can still feel people's judgments, even in the woke community, especially in the woke community. It's okay. You know, that kind of stuff pushes people away from you. And maybe that's okay too. Because I've often thought about deleting all of my social media and I might but what has kept me hanging on is to stay connected because we need to we need to stick together as good people who love because this is the important thing that we need to have in common is love love is that so hard you know, I looked at my dog, and uh, I thought, damn, he's a beautiful dog. Look at him, and he's so smart. And and, and I, I started thinking about, well, how come I always have the, the most beautiful furry friends or whatever? And why are my kids so beautiful? And... Why are my friends so beautiful? You know what? It's my perception of them because I love them. And I give my good energy to them. My dog is healthy, happy, and all the things I can imagine. He's got his own toy box. Yes. He, he's, a, he's a very spoiled little fella. <laughs> Not really spoiled. Maybe a little bit. But he's beautiful because I put love into him. I pour my love over him. Just like my roses. It's like, well, I wonder why I can't grow anything else. Well, I don't really put the energy that I do into the roses and I don't know why but I really like the roses and I don't know why I really like them, I just do I like all flowers, I'm just trying to make a point here that when you love something and, and I know the, you lose things, I, we have lost loved ones and our plants die and our dogs have been run over, okay yeah that's not what I'm talking about. That's all divine timing. And I know that's ugly. And I know that it looks real ugly to us. Because we're fed so much bullshit. Okay? That's another thing. What we're eating. I, and, and I think that, that this platform, as grateful as I am for it, is a double-edged sword. We went from having almost no information 20 years ago. I mean, you basically had to go to college and everything, which you, I mean, people still do, but we didn't have a phone that could, at one touch, you could face talk with somebody all the way around the globe. And so, um, I hope we don't get carried away with that. And so that's why I've, I've thought about dropping all of my social media. Because I feel like it's it, sometimes um, it's easy for me to allow the intake of the wrong things. And I don't just mean like crappy videos. I mean like...
the whole woke bullshit community. I hope to God that you don't hate me for that, but if you do, that's the way it is. You just un sub, I guess, which is fine, because I don't need to get my channel out there. But I do appreciate all of you who are subbed. And I appreciate you as a human being and a spiritual being and a part of me. And I love you. And I love you even if you unsub. And I love you if you call me names. I don't care. I'm not here for all that. And I've been thinking about what the hell am I here for? I think I'm getting to with the in crowd. I'm losing sight of me. To all the woke bullshit. Wrap it up in a ball. Grab you a trash can and a buddy and play some wastebasket basketball or whatever you want to call it around the world with that bullshit. I feel like there's more to say. I don't plan my videos, um, usually, unless I'm trying to um, bring you some activation of some kind. We do activate each other. That's a good reason to keep the channel and to be out here. We do activate each other, but we're still pulling those fast ones, those human shenanigans with each other. I'm seeing it, and I'm feeling it, and I've even participated in it. That's the truth. And I have to sit back and question how honorable is that for myself. Because it's I didn't I don't have to go to bed with how you feel about me. I have to go to bed with about how I feel about me. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking a bunch of bullshit. But I want you to know that I love you. And, uh, <laughs> no, I wasn't drunk, but I was having a lot of fun the other night. We don't need to go there. I sat all day without my pain medicine, and when I finally had an edible, I was just, whew, and I chased it with a beer, and, whew, Lord, I have mussy. Lord, I didn't need to have that mussy. <laughs> but I'm sober as shit right now and I'm going to tell you again M-O-O-N that spells make it we gonna make it I promise you that 